Hey guys, this is Poet Spice Biblio Color Scribe, and I am doing a quick flip through of the Circle of Life. I know, I know, everybody has done one, but I'm doing a flipping yak because I just got it today. And in a previous video, I talked about how I just got it as soon as I clicked on Elm's color video, flipping through hers. And I was like, oh, it's so cute. So I'm just gonna do a quick one. So I won't keep you long since everybody else has done it, but we'll do a little chit and chat as we go along. Also in my previous video, I talked about butter coloring. So if somebody wants to buddy color out of this one, let me know. So first of all, you know, it's that square paper. I have no idea how to say this person's name. Don't know, don't know. Not gonna try it and butcher it. And if you look at the foil, it's so cool. I'm not a big pink person as anybody who knows me knows, but it's pretty cool because it's got like this holographic element to the foil. So when you just look at it straight on, it doesn't look like it, but can you see like the holographic lookingness? And then it's the same on the fishies. The fishies. Now, first of all, I loved it because it was in circular form. I don't know, I have a thing for circles and swirls, circles and swirls. So you have your fold out flap and you've got your perforated pages. The paper sounds like this. So it's not the thin Amazon paper. I love this. I love that they give you, this is the front page and they give you another one later in the book. Look at the cover page, well not cover page, but the nameplate page. Now I don't like snakes, so I'm not real happy about that, but I'll probably color it green so it doesn't look like one. <laughs> anyway, that's just me, I know, I know. Some people like snakes, I particularly don't. If it doesn't have fur and legs, I'm like, yeah, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, no. So then you have enter the circle of life. You got these cute little things here. And of course you can color all of these if you would like, which is so cute. I like these little small ones too. Then of course you have the magnificence of all these other pieces. So this is pretty cool because it reminds me of steampunk even though it is just here in the cogs. And somebody is doing, um, Maybe it's on the all your color tag from Sammy, where one is like, do all the elements, earth, air, fire, water. This could be one that would be cool to do that um, and use the sun as a fire element or change one of these mountains to a volcano. That would be fun. This little turtle, it kind of reminds me of that Kirby Rosanis, but it's kind of cuter. <laughs> it's cuter. Then you have this one. And I kind of like the line style in this one. It's kind of heavy, kind of very graphic. Um, so I kind of like that. Then you have these Boyds. Looks like a big buzzard. They are buzzards or vultures. Are buzzards and vultures the same thing? Or are they two different birds? Oh my gosh, right now in my head, all I can think of is that cartoon buzzer where he's like, go to do, go to do. <laughs> like on Lo not Looney Tunes with, um, oh yeah, it is Yosemite Sam and um, what's that? Foghorn Leghorn. And he's on there like, do -do -do, and he's real slow. And his mom and his brothers are all like dive bombing people. And he's just like flapping his wings. Do do, do do. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's just chilling. <laughs> so, yeah. I thought it was also interesting that some of these pages are not circular. So that was kind of interesting too. Then you have this one. And this is so crazy because I looked at this and I totally didn't see this one. You see something new every day, right? And here's this hourglass one, which is pretty fun. So you could definitely do this one as earth and air and water. <laughs> And I don't think you have to do all four of them in the same image, but it would be kind of cool if you could get them all in. Mm -hmm. Look at that pretty swan. Oh, you guys, have you guys ever read that book, The Trumpeter Swan, back in the day? It was about a little swan who couldn't trumpet. And, uh, you know, he couldn't make his little, his little noise that swans make. And there was this little boy, and he had an actual trumpet, and so he gave it to the swan. Let you know there's all the little things. And he gave it to the swan, and so eventually the swan used the trumpet as his little 
or whatever sound they make. It was cute. Yes. Toucan Sam, y'all. Toucan Sam. I think this is going to be like a cross-reference of everything, you know. <laughs> Your compass rose. See, this is one that would be good as earth, air, water, and fire. Does Australia have volcanoes? I don't know. I don't know. Does anybody know? I don't. See, this one would be too, because you have earth. Well, you've got water. That'd be kind of cool. I guess you can't really get the fire one in there. Unless you use the sun. I need somebody already to come up with a really good pirate coloring book. Like, arg. So this is pretty cool. And so I do like that they did put in some non-circular items. Which is pretty fun. See, this one you definitely can get. Earth, air, water. And then, so this one, this one definitely looks like a Kirby Rosanna's one. Matter of fact, it's one of my favorite ones in the books that he has, which is why I bought two different books that has it, <laughs> that has this image in it. Actually, there's three, because I think Color Morphia has it in there, too. Um, y'all, y'all, we got the crab deliciousness here. We got these little crabs. So this is a good thing because I'm not a big fan of crabs, so that means I can use alcohol markers on this side. And then you got this one. I do like sunflower, so. So we got some of these. Oh, I hit the camera. Sorry, darlings. This is cute. How did I miss this? I looked through this and I totally missed this. What in the world? That just lets you know is you gotta look at the, you gotta look through your books more than once. Because you miss items, you miss them. There you go. So I thought this, when I saw this, this was like the kicker to, yes, I'm buying that book. Because this is beautiful. And then I saw somebody color it. It was so annoying. I mean, it's just the way things are. But, you know, that some, you know they came out in some other countries first. So we had to wait until April 20th to get it. But it was gorgeous. Now, see? Ugly, nasty snakes, which means I can use alcohol markers. Because I wouldn't I wouldn't be too upset to lose this one if I could do my markers on this one. Because that's gorgeous. Same thing with this one. I'm not that big a fan of this one. So that means I can use my markers on that one. Here again, we go with some snakes. So, mm. But we got the panda on the other side, which I love pandas, so markers, even though they just had to throw a snake right there, didn't they? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is cute. And this is this outside is on that front page with the copyright information. Oh my goodness, so adorable, 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 adorable. I can't remember who I saw coloring this one, but that was gorgeous when they were coloring it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then these little squirrels. Hmm. Can we think? <laughs> okay, this just tells you the kind of stuff that goes through my brain. Why does that make it look like it's he's got mushrooms coming out his butthole? He's he's pooping mushrooms and flowers. <laughs> shrooms and flowers. Mm. You smell like shrooms and flowers. Okay, so, so sorry for those who don't like bathroom humor, but that's what it looked like. <laughs> this is so cute right there, this, this little hedgehog. Or is it supposed to be a porcupine? I think hedgehog, because it does. I don't see any spikes coming off of it. Then we had the little fox, which is cute. This, which is cute. I always like a book, right? I do teach, so knowledge is power, children. Knowledge is power. There you go. That's cute. You can put a little face on there. <laughs> if you did something else to it, it looked like an ice cream cone. This one, Egypt, Egypt land. Go down, Moses. Okay. I told you this was going to be a crazy video. So these are some cute little gators. That's cute. See, big reptiles don't bother me so much with, if they have legs. But snakes, worms, squiggly wiggly stuff. I'm like, mm, you need to go. That's cute. 
That's cute. I love elephants. Elephants, I love them. I thought this was awesome because it kind of appeals to a bunch of the stuff I like. Like, kind of got a gothic vibe. Kind of got a fantasy vibe. My sign is an Aries. <laughs> you got your flowers, your circles, your detail. It pretty much hits all those. A little dream catcher. Dream, dream. Dream, 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 dream. I need to go to sleep. I really do. It's like almost 9.30 at night, which isn't really my bedtime, but apparently I'm slap happy, so there we go. This little snail is adorable. Now see, in real life, I hate I hate slimy stuff, but that is so cute. Okay, y'all, and look at this fabulousness. Now, see, I would be the person who went through and colored every single one of these little pieces. Uh-huh. Yes, I would. Now, I wouldn't do that on every piece, but this one I like it, so I would sit there and do 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 do. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I like to draw, and I like to draw stuff that's complicated like that. This I didn't pay attention to until I was looking at it closely, and it's kind of cool because when you look at each one of these little spiral pieces, each chamber has a different animal in it. So very nautical for the Nautilus. This also reminds me of the of the poem The Chamber of Nautilus. Uh -huh, uh -huh, which I teach every year. Except for this year, because we're not gonna get to it. <coughs> Seahorses. And this. Zucchini Kitty. I do remember she did that one. I'm like, oh, she does some fabulous stuff, which is so funny because over here on my computer, I'm actually watching one of her videos from today, and she's doing a frog. <laughs> it's so cute. You've got this one. So I'm silently watching that as I flip through this book with you all. I know this is an octopus, but it just made me want to see... <laughs> Davy Jones and the Kraken. Although I know it's an octopus. Narwhals. How cute are narwhals, right? Like, they're a mixed up animal just like a platypus. What animal needs a sword on its nose? I don't know, but they're adorable. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. This is cute. The little farmer in the dale. And then this is adorable. This reminds me like like Garden of Eden stuff, even though it's not necessarily that, obviously. But that's what it reminds me of. Some little herrings on that one. This is pretty with the hummingbird. Got some boydies. Hello, boydie. Boydie, boydie, boydies. Polly water cracker. Always love a peacock. You gotta love a peacock. And then you have a pea hen. <laughs> Those, the females are kind of like, what's wrong with you? They're not very pretty. And then this is kind of... At first, when I first looked at this, I was like, I don't like this. But then when I looked at it again, I was like, I do like this. Because you get all that water. It's a top-down view of water. And you got the fishies and everything. So cool. And you got a little turtle. Turtle, turtle. And then you got this one. <laughs> Why does that look like Friday? And then you have this one, which is the cover. So see, I told you, you have the one in the front on the nameplate counter page. And then they give you a big one in the back. And then you have this one. This one you could definitely use for fire. So I might color that one, I don't know. And then I think we have a few more. Your yin and yang. And see, not really into this planet space thing, which means I can use my markers on that one. And then we've got this one, which definitely would do fire. Look, fire. So you could do all four with this one. Then you have a snow one. And that's it. Then you have the last little plate here. And then here she is. I hope she does another book like quick, fast, and in a hurry. So, who are you, Miss Lady? Oh, 
the lady, I don't know how to pronounce her name. <laughs> so anyway, here's my flipping yak of the wonderful circle of life. I hope that was entertaining and fun for you. And woo, it turned out longer than I thought it was going to. But anyway, it was fun, enjoyable. You guys have a good evening. And let me know if you would like to do a buddy color. Bye.